all right then welcome back everyone let's solve this question quests so i hope you read the question once but i'll quickly summarize the question for you so this guy monocarp is playing some game and there are n quests in the game numbered from 1 to n that needs to be completed there are some rules given uh, that is the first quest is always available and if you want to uh, complete some qi quest you have to complete uh, all the quests before it that is for all j less than i it must be completed if you want to complete a quest qi that's what they have written and uh, he can complete a quest multiple times that is mentioned here and uh, there are two uh, arrays given here ai and bi so what is it is uh, for the first completion of ith quest you get ai experience point that is if you complete a quest for the first time uh, qi quest you get ai experience point but if you uh, redo a quest right on subsequent completion of ith quest you get bi experience point so that's what these two arrays signify now we have a bound uh, that we cannot uh, do more than k number of quests so what we want to find is uh, the maximum possible total experience this guy can get if he can complete no more than k quests now i guess all the experience are positive so no more than k quests it means just complete k quests right <laughs> because you want as many experience as possible so the input is very simple uh, you are given n and k k is the bound on the quest you have to complete then there is this a array given and b array given this a array is uh, the first completion experience you get that is the experience that you get when you complete a quest for the first time and this b array is the experience that you get when you redo a quest that is on subsequent completions so that's that now this is a very simple question frankly uh, this is uh, i guess a 900 iterative questions if you ask me but let's just uh, see let's build up the solution okay so first things first uh, let's just see how uh, quest completions work like it's pure brute force like how do you complete quests unlock new quests and so on right so let me write down the rules initially uh, initially ai a1 is always available right the first quest is always available and uh, qi is available qi is available if and only if for all j less than i qi uh, qj is completed at least one QJ is completed at least once. That's uh, what our constraint is, right? Now, what we want to do is we want to gain maximum experience by completing no more than K quests. So it is like uh, the, it, this K quest completion can uh, include first time quests and redos as well, right? So let's just see uh, how this quest completion is working. So uh, let's say uh, first you complete the first quest, so you'll get A1 experience, right? Now you have two options. Either you uh, complete this quest again, so then you will gain B1 experience, or uh, now quest two is also available since you have completed uh, all the quests before it at least once, right? Now, if you again uh, like if you do this B1, then like you again have same options, right? So if you complete uh, the first quest again, you again have these options. But if you decide to do let's say A2, then two options again comes. You can complete A2 again. That is now you have a chance to gain a B2 experience. Or now A3 is also available. All in all, uh, when you are at this level, what type of experiences are available to you is either complete the first quest again or complete the second quest again. This is the point where you have completed two unique quests, right? So this is you can say number of unique quests count. So here uh, there are zero quests completed, so you have first quest available. Here you have completed one quest, so now you have second quest available, and the first quest can be completed again. Here you have completed two unique quests, so third quest is available, or you can gain experience uh, uh, by completing second quest again, or maybe yeah, this B1 is also there here, right? You can still complete the first quest again. Fine. Similarly, uh, if you decide to complete A3, then uh, now you may decide to complete this third quest again, or uh, fourth quest is available. So whenever you are at a level, uh, whenever you are at a level, the new quest is available, the new experience that you can gain. Or you can gain uh, experience from all the uh, previous quests that you completed. That is a redo, right? So we have a bound here, right? We cannot do more than k quests. And depending on number of unique quests that you have completed, uh, the experience, like the available quests, change, right? So whenever you uh, do complete a quest, a uh, new experience is available to you, right? Whenever you do complete a quest, uh, the new experience is available to you, right? In other words, what I'm saying is, when you didn't complete a quest, you only have one option. The first quest but once you completed first quest now you have an option of b1 right one more option has come when you complete a2 now b1 is still there that is you can redo the first quest but now b2 also comes into the picture also a3 so 
what I'm saying is depending on the number of unique quests that you have completed, the quests that you can choose to complete right now is changing, right? Now we have to complete K quests. Now how do you approach this? The simplest thing that should come to your mind is uh, why not uh, I try to enumerate uh, all the possibilities of how many unique quests I am completing, right? That should do, right? So in other words, uh, like this idea is very straightforward. Why can't you just uh, run a loop, run a loop or in simple words enumerate all the possible unique quest completions, right? run a loop on number of unique quest completion, right? Because depending on how many unique quests you have completed, uh, your experience like available experience gains changes, right? For example, let's say uh, the number of unique quest completion is just one. If you if you are allowing that you are not doing more than one unique quest, the only experience that you available is first you will of course complete E1, so you get that, and afterwards you only have B1 available, right? In other words, what I'm saying is just uh, like complete the first quest, okay? That is gain E1 experience, and after that for remaining K minus one quest that you have complete, just redo the first quest again. So then you will get uh, K minus one into B1 experience. If you don't get it, uh, stay with me for a while. Let's say uh, I am completing two unique quests. That is, I'm doing this guy and this guy. So definitely, if I'm doing two unique quests, I'm gonna gain A1 and A2. That's for sure. So the experience that I'll gain is A1, A2 because I'm completing two unique quests. And the remaining, the remaining will be what? K minus two, right? Because you've completed two quests. The remaining you have K minus two. The remaining K minus two, you will have option either redo the first quest or redo the second quest. Like which one are you gonna do? Of course, whichever is the maximum of these two, right? Right. Let's go on. Uh, let's say you complete three unique quests. If you decide to do three unique quests, of course, you will have gained uh, the first time completion experience from these three unique quests, A1 plus A2 plus A3. And afterwards, uh, the remaining K minus three quests, you will redo any one of these, right? So, redoing means you have B1, B2 or B3 at your disposal. Which one are you going to pick? Of course, whichever is maximum, right? So, uh, what I'm trying to say here is, uh, if you complete... Uh, I unique quests, if you complete I unique quests, you will have to do K minus I redos, right? That is the one of the quests among these I, I only, right? You have to complete. So, what you will get is uh, you will get I first completion experience, right? First completion experience. I'm lazy here, <laughs> I'm abbreviating it. Uh, I first completion experiences and K minus I. Subsequent completion experience, right? So let me just call it subsequent completion experiences. So if you want to have an equation here, so here's the equation, right? You will gain the first time experience for all the I quests that you have completed, and for remaining K minus I quests, you will have to do a redo, right? So for redo, you will have available experiences from what? B1 till B I, right? Because you have completed I quests, so these are available. And of course, you're gonna pick the maximum of these, right? That makes sense, right? So just pick maximum of B1 till BI, right? So, I mean, the question is actually done and dusted here. I don't know if you can see it. See, what you observed is uh, the experiences uh, that you gain changes depending on how many uh, unique quests you perform. Then why not I just run a loop on number of unique quest completions, right? And if I'm completing I unique quests, K minus LB redos. And the ideal experience gain, so this is the ideal experience gain, this is the ideal experience gain for I unique quest completion, I unique quest completions. So I can just uh, enumerate, like maybe I can just uh, loop this I from 1 till, of course, K only, because you cannot go more than K, K or N, whatever, because we are not going to complete more than uh, K number of quests. So this can be uh, handled, that is, we are not doing more than K number of quests. Of course, if total number of quests are more than K, uh, you cannot do more than first K quests because the way the quests are unlocked, you will have to complete uh, quests before a given quest, right? So if you want to unlock a quest, which is let's say some K plus 10th number, that quest can never be done, right? In which way? So this is our brute force actually. Try to run a loop for unique quest completions, find out the ideal experience gain when you are completing I unique quests and just take the maximum of all of them. And that would be it. Uh, that would be it for the question. Let's just quickly code it up then. Okay guys, so let's just quickly code up the solution then. 
I guess uh, he forgot to mention in the explanation part that brute force itself is the optimal answer here, right? Because if you see here, uh, like if you are coming in this video, you know that the approach that we discussed can be easily done in a single loop, right? We can maintain some variables and it will be done. So let's just quickly see. I have already taken the input here. Now I'll create three variables here. One is maxi. So what is this? Is it's gonna keep track of maximum uh, second, like the maximum redo gain that we can get till now. So this is for that part, maximum of b1 till bi. So I'll write it here. So keep track of max xp, right? Uh, b1 till bi, right? Because we are gonna need it when we uh, need to find the maximum subsequent gain you can get if you complete uh, i unique quests. Then I'll need, uh, of course, my result variable. So I'll just call it result. I'll and I'll again initialize it to 1 e 9, the maximum experience that we can get. And then I'll need a variable uh, to keep track of the first time gains, like the unique first time gains. So this is to keep track of, you can see, uh, to keep track of uh, summation of AIs, right? Because when you complete I unique quests, you will get uh, A1 till AI, A1 plus A2 till AI uh, experience. Okay, so I'll just run a loop for i equals to 1 till i less than n. So, this n equals to n, right? So, just a loop for how many unique quests we are completing. And then uh, let's just add it to our first time gains, right? First time gains, it will be a of i minus 1, right? Uh, i minus 1 because uh, we have, I've taken i, I'm doing i from uh, 1 to n, but actually I raise 0 based indexing, right? So, that's that. And what will be the remaining quests then? The remaining quests will be simply k minus i right? because you are completing i quest so the remaining quest will be k minus i now one thing is obviously uh, if uh, remaining is less than zero you just break there is no point in like if the number of quests unique quests are greater than k then there is no point in considering this answer right? otherwise uh, we can find out the maxi now maxi of b of i minus and i'm just updating the maximum subsequent experience gain and uh, what i'll do is i'll Calculate the answer, like the ideal experience gain for cons for completing i unique quests. So it will be what? The first time gains that you have done till now plus k minus i into maxi k minus i or you can just write here remaining, right? Whatever remaining quest. Uh, this is actually your re redos, right? This is how many uh, redos you are going to do. And uh, what will the experience you will get? Of course, the maximum of uh, maximum of b1 till bi. That is fine. And now I am going to update my answer then. The result equals to max of the result and experience gain that you get by completing i unique quests. I should write semicolon here. Okay, so lately I've been coding in Python a lot, so I uh, miss semicolons a uh, lot. Any which way, uh, let's just print the answer here. See out result. So let me just run it then. Yeah, I guess it is working. 13, 4, 15, 15. That's exactly what it's supposed to do. That so that is pretty simple. Just try to enumerate the number of unique quest completions and your job is done. Just take the maximum of it. Let me just quickly submit it then. Yeah, so it did got accepted. I hope you got something out of this video. I'll see you in the next one.